Hey there, sports fans, and welcome back to Platinum Cappers. Today, we're diving into a fascinating NCABB matchup set to unfold on December 18, 2023. We've got the Eastern Washington Eagles squaring off against the Cal Poly Mustangs at the Robert A. Mott Athletics Center, with all the action broadcast live on ESPN Plus at 10 p.m. Eastern Time. This game is a must-watch for all NCAA basketball enthusiasts and betters out there. Let's break it down. The Eastern Washington Eagles, with a 3-6 record, are known for their aggressive offense, averaging a robust 77.3 points per game. This is significantly higher than the Cal Poly Mustangs, who average 63.3 points per game. The Eagles' scoring strategy is backed by a 47.8% field goal accuracy and a 34% success rate in three-pointers. However, they do have some vulnerabilities in defense, notably their average of 13.8 turnovers and 19.7 fouls per game, which could be exploited by Cal Poly's playstyle. Cal Poly Mustangs, standing at 3-7, may not match the Eagles in scoring but they've got a solid defense with 5.7 steals and 3.6 blocks per game. Their field goal percentage is at 41.9%, and they're nearly on par in free throw accuracy at 71.44%. To stand a chance against the Eagles, Cal Poly needs to leverage its defensive strengths while boosting its scoring efficiency. In the player spotlight, we have Eastern Washington's Cedric Coward, a forward known for his scoring efficiency and rebounding prowess going head-to-head -head with Cal Poly's Kobe Sanders, a guard who's a key offensive weapon for the Mustangs. Coward's strength in the paint versus Sanders' perimeter skills could very well dictate the flow and outcome of this game. Now, let's talk betting trends. Eastern Washington has been somewhat inconsistent lately, with a 1-4 record against the spread in their last five games. On the other hand, their performance in away games, going 4-3 against the spread, suggests they can handle pressure in challenging environments. As for Cal Poly, they've also been struggling, with a 1-4 record in their last five games. However, their balanced record in road games and a tendency for high-scoring games could play to their advantage. So, what's the verdict for this matchup? Given Eastern Washington's offensive edge and Cal Poly's defensive resilience, it's shaping up to be a close contest. The key factor will be whether Cal Poly can disrupt the Eagles' scoring rhythm and capitalize on offensive opportunities. Our free pick and prediction for this game is Eastern Washington Eagles taking the win with a score of 75-70 against the Cal Poly Mustangs. Keep an eye on the totals, as this game could very well turn into a high-scoring affair. Thanks for joining us on Platinum Cappers. Remember, for more detailed insights and top picks, stay tuned to our channel. Bet wisely, and we'll catch you next time for more sports analysis and predictions. Hello sports fans, and welcome to Platinum Cappers, where we're all about diving deep into the heart of the game. Today, we're taking a closer look at an exciting NCAA men's basketball matchup set for December 18, 2023. Get ready for an intense battle as the Oakland Golden Grizzlies, standing at 6-5, face off against the Michigan State Spartans with a similar record. This game, broadcasting live from the Breslin Center on BTN, is not one to be missed. The Oakland Golden Grizzlies have been showing some commendable performance this season. Their overall record may seem modest, but a deeper look reveals a team with a lot of potentials. They've been especially strong in their recent games, holding a 3-2 record both overall and against the spread. Their exceptional performance in road games, with a perfect 7-0 against the spread, is particularly noteworthy. Offensively, they're averaging 72.8 points per game with a solid 45.2% field goal and 32.9% three-point shooting. Their rebounding and playmaking abilities are also significant, averaging 33.2 and 11.5 per game, respectively. Michigan State Spartans, however, have been experiencing a bit of a roller coaster season. Their recent games have seen them win three out of five matches and the same record against the spread. Their road game performance against the spread has been less than ideal, with an 0-3 mark, which could be a concern in away matchups. Statistically, they are almost neck and neck with the Grizzlies in terms of scoring, averaging 72.3 points per game. 
Their field goal percentage is slightly lower at 44.9%, and their three-point shooting is at 29.5%. However, their rebounding and assist numbers, averaging 16.3 assists per game, demonstrate strong team synergy. In the spotlight, we have Trey Townsend from the Oakland Golden Grizzlies going up against Tyson Walker of the Michigan State Spartans. Townsend has been a key player for Oakland, averaging 15.8 points and 7.5 rebounds per game, with notable playmaking abilities. His field goal and three-point shooting percentages are impressive, but turnovers could be a concern. Walker, on the other hand, has been an essential scorer for Michigan State, with an average of 20.3 points per game. His field goal accuracy is slightly better than Townsend's, and his ability to steal the ball adds an extra layer to his game. As the betting odds for this matchup are still to be set, it's a bit challenging to give concrete betting advice. However, considering the recent performances and strengths of both teams, bettors should watch out for Oakland's strong record against the spread in road games. When it comes to betting trends, the Oakland Golden Grizzlies have been impressive, especially in road games, with a 7-0 record against the spread. Their games have also tended to be high scoring. On the other hand, the Michigan State Spartans have shown mixed results, with a 2-3 record in their last five games. Their home advantage might help, but their games have generally been low scoring. In conclusion, while the betting lines are yet to be released, Oakland seems to have a slight edge based on past trends and stats, especially considering their record against the spread. When considering prop bets and over, under, keep in mind Oakland's tendency for high scoring games and Michigan State's home field advantage. This matchup could very well be a close contest, possibly with Oakland covering their spread. Our free pick and prediction? We're leaning towards the Oakland Golden Grizzlies with a predicted score of 74-70 over the Michigan State Spartans. Thanks for joining us here at Platinum Cappers. Remember, bet smart, enjoy the game, and stay tuned for more sports betting insights and predictions. Catch you next time. Hey there, NCAA basketball fans. Welcome to another exciting episode of Platinum Cappers, where we break down the upcoming matchups and provide you with top-notch analysis and predictions. Today, we're focusing on an intriguing NCAA men's basketball matchup set for Monday, December 18, 2023. Get ready for a thrilling encounter as the Quinnipiac Bobcats, with a solid 7-3 record, take on the Holy Cross Crusaders, currently standing at 2-8. This game, taking place at the Hart Center at 7 p.m. Eastern Time and streaming on ESPN+, Plus, promises to be an engaging battle where strategy and form will play critical roles in determining the outcome. The Quinnipiac Bobcats have been performing impressively this season. They're averaging a remarkable 78.8 points per game, which is significantly higher than the Holy Cross Crusaders. Their shooting efficiency is evident with a 44.2% field goal percentage and a 35.9% success rate from beyond the arc. On defense, they're equally effective, averaging 6.7 steals and 4.3 blocks per game. However, their turnover rate of 12.9 per game could be a point of concern against a team like Holy Cross that might look to exploit any vulnerabilities. The Holy Cross Crusaders, on the other hand, have had a challenging season reflected in their 2-8 record. They're averaging 64.3 points per game, with a field goal percentage of 42.9%. Their three-point shooting at 33.5% could use some improvement, as well as their rebounding and assist counts, which could benefit from more cohesive team play. In the player spotlight, we have a key battle between Matt Belonk of Quinnipiac and Joe Octave of Holy Cross. Belonk, with an average of 17.9 points per game, is a vital part of Quinnipiac's offense, and his shooting accuracy makes him a threat from various positions on the court. However, his high turnover rate could be exploited by Holy Cross. On the other side, Octave, averaging 9.1 points, 4.7 rebounds, and 3.4 assists per game, plays a crucial role in Holy Cross's strategy. His versatility is key against teams like Quinnipiac, although his shooting percentages could be more efficient. As the betting odds have yet to be set, Quinnipiac may enter as favorites, considering their offensive strengths and Holy Cross's need to tighten its defense. Quinnipiac's recent performance against the spread has been consistently good, with a 3-2 mark, 
while Holy Cross has struggled, showing a 1-4 record in their last five games both overall and against the spread. Looking at the matchup, Quinnipiac appears to be the more reliable choice, given their superior offensive and defensive stats. Their ability to control the game tempo and capitalize on Holy Cross's weaknesses could be decisive. As for prop bets and over, under wagers, it's wise to consider Quinnipiac's consistency against Holy Cross's need for improvement. Given the contrasting styles of play, an over, under bet could be challenging, but Quinnipiac is likely to come out on top. Our free pick and prediction for this matchup? We're leaning towards the Quinnipiac Bobcats taking the victory with a predicted score of 76-65 over the Holy Cross Crusaders. Thanks for tuning in to Platinum Cappers for your NCABB insights and predictions. Remember, bet smart, enjoy the game, and stay tuned for more expert analysis and picks. See you next!